Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Travel Forge. So it's Sunday morning. I started watching Jessica's video and she always motivates me to like do more baking. So we are getting some pumpkin muffins ready for the week. Zad is working on some sourdough rye waffles. Bud's doing dishes. Zuzu had a massive explosion. So we've already had one shower and a, we're on our second set of clothes and we haven't even had breakfast. So I have a few jars of like cubed pumpkin in the pantry that I like keep ignoring because I never know what to do with it. So instead of doing banana muffins with the sourdough recipe, we're gonna do pumpkin. So I'll probably do like, there's a yummy crumb top and go on top. I thought pumpkin crumb muffins sounded pretty good. Um, we have rye flour that needs used up. So I added some of that into the waffle batter. I'm gonna save my pumpkin juice. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but I don't feel like I should throw it away. So. I'm excited to work through some discard, work through that pumpkin, work through some rye flour. Um, we also finished up any fresh eggs that we have. So I pulled out our water glass bucket. I have three or four dozen maybe left in there. So we're gonna work through those. When those are gone, hopefully by then, our girls will be laying a little bit more or we'll have to tap into freeze dried. So this recipe calls for vanilla extract. My dad made some cinnamon extract that he gave us. So I'm going to do half of this and half vanilla and I think it's going to be really good. So if you're unfamiliar, I will link the video where I talk about how to do this process, but these are eggs I probably have saved from, I'm guessing like May-ish. All right, so Zad has breakfast ready. We have some eggs, our sourdough, what did I do? Sourdough, rye, uh, waffles, I'm getting all my pumpkin and all that mixed up. Little teeny bit of hot dogs, we're finishing up stuff in the fridge. Little deer loin left from yesterday. Jamie and I have our muffins prepped, so we'll get those in the oven after breakfast. All right, so I actually wound up not finishing yesterday's video because morning sickness hit me pretty hard and I was just like laying on the couch wallowing, doing pretty much less than nothing. So, wasn't that exciting. We finished up that shepherd's pie, which is great. Um, we made those pumpkin muffins, which are amazing, and there's frankly not that many left. The kids hit those pretty hard. So we're working on breakfast. Zad has some bacon going, plenty of bacon grease that of course we're gonna save. Um, he's working on some waffles. So I did like a triple batch of that waffle batter yesterday, which is great because that was all ready to go. So I'm also working on some tallow balm in my shop. Zad's gonna be working on the garage. He started tearing that apart yesterday. Um, the kids and I are going to be working on clothes. So there's like four baskets of laundry that need put away. So we need to work on that little project. We have some orders to fill. And the other thing I wanna do is I pulled out this, hmm, Boston butt. So I let that thaw overnight. So I'm going to get that thrown in the instant pot. I'm hoping it'll fit in my six quart. If not, we're going to bust out the old 10 quart. All right. So we have a little apple juice in the fridge. We got a little broth. I'm thinking left from the last thing I did in the instant pot a few days ago. And we have some mustard and I have some applewood smoked salt. So I'm just going to put all that on there and let that sit for the day. It'll get nice and shreddy and then we can figure out what we want to do with it. I think we still have some mashed potatoes left. So we may wind up having this on mashed potatoes because we made a vat of mashed potatoes. So back before I had any clue what I was doing in the kitchen, if this happened, I would like scoop that off because I didn't realize that that was good for you. So that fat cap is definitely going in here. It's going to add a lot of flavor. It is one of those days where I cannot get warm. Okay, so this is done. It is shredding apart just like I would want it to, which is great. So in a little while, I'll come in here and, you know, get the bone out and all the extra fat and all that kind of stuff. There's a pretty hearty bone in there. So I might wind up saving that to use for some broth or something. I don't want that to go to waste. Um, kids are hungry, so we're gonna put some venison dogs in the air fryer. Um, I love, okay, so like obviously we don't buy like store-bought hot dogs or whatever, but we always get or try to get venison dogs if we have a deer. So like this year, um, Zad's sister and brother-in-law offered us two deer, so we had it made into the things that we love. Bologna, dried venison, hot dogs, and obviously we got like the backstrap and the deer loin and like the yummy parts. We don't love ground venison. We have some canned, we have some frozen. It's not our favorite. We would eat it if like we got to the point where the only thing we could do was like, you know, raise things in our backyard and there were deer to shoot in the backyard, but it's not our favorite flavor. Nonetheless, we love deer dogs and deer bologna and dried venison and all those kinds of things. So 
um, have some of those in the air fryer. I like, you know, is this like an obligatory pregnancy thing or what? I did these fridge pickles this summer and some of them got a little soft, but some of them didn't. I got a ton of these little like gherkin size pickles at the auction. If you've been following along, you know that I got a lot of the stuff that I canned this year from other like local farmers, at, whether it was like at the orchard or at auction or like a stand or whatever, because our garden wasn't up yet because we didn't live here until June. So there really wasn't much time. Um, these are so good. So I just did these as fridge pickles and yum. Mm. And they're like kind of dilly with like a teeny bit of sweet. I did a mostly dill. Oh, they're so good. So anyway, that's what we got going on. This will be ready for dinner. I just need to shred it and deal with the bone and the fat. Obviously we're not going to let any of that good broth that it made go to waste. We'll use that for some other meal. Seriously. Yum. All right, so I'm gonna head out and help out of the garage. I feel like if I keep moving, I'm like less prone to remembering that I feel really nauseous. <sighs> it's okay. All right, so I made some energy bites. Jessica Three Rivers Homestead talked about this in her video on Sunday, bud. Um, I always forget about these. I'm like, they're the best because they're so versatile. So I had like a random little container of prunes in the pantry. Um, I had some cranberry, dried cranberries in there. There's some cashew pieces, peanut butter, honey, a little vanilla, and I think that might be it. Hmm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, sunflower seeds, salted sunflower seeds. So you can see, there's not really a recipe for this. Seriously, I just pulled out the food processor. We have a nine cup food processor. So I filled it like three quarters of the way or so with all those things. If you feel like they're too dry, like they're not coming together, um, I just added a teeny bit of water just to get it moving. And then Jessica bakes her, sometimes she does them in bars, which I think is genius. I never thought about that. I always make them into balls. Um, so you can put them in the oven just to dry them out a little bit. Depending on what you put in them, you might find that there's like a little grease that comes out. Um, so like when I pulled them off of the cookie sheet, I just sat them on a paper towel just to kind of let them not drain, there's not that much, but enough to just kind of, you know, make sure they were dry. And then I just put them on a piece of parchment. I probably didn't have to, but put them on a piece of parchment in my handy little container that I stole from my mom. And so we'll just sit these over here with our yummy Ruth Ann Zimmerman bread and we're getting some eggs. All these eggs came from our chickens, which is so exciting in February. I'm so excited about that. We still have some of those sourdough pumpkin banana muffins left. And I think there's a little sliver of Bud's gingerbread left. Um, I was going to start some sourdough, so I was going to try to do sourdough pretzels and sourdough focaccia earlier this week, and I think I was just having a temper tantrum, and the dough just didn't work, so I sent it to the chickens, and I just had to, like, be at peace with it. Um, I was going to start some bulls, but we're going to Lancaster on Wednesday, and it just, the timing doesn't make sense, so I will work on bulls at the end of the week, so I just popped my sourdough starter in the fridge for the next couple days. I have plenty of discard that we've been working through, making it to batters and things like that. Um, we might, Jamie wants to make some cookies. I haven't done sourdough cookies yet, so we might try to do that. Um, maybe tonight. We're going to go work on the garage. I'm going to show you what kind of progress we're making there. All right, so if you've been following along, you know that I started on the garage maybe last week. I did a lot of weeding through baby clothes and things like that. Really just kind of kept like capsules for the kids. So like Carhartt jackets and snow pants and muck boots and Crocs and things that are like a little bit more expensive or a little harder to find at say like yard sales and stuff. Zad has done an amazing amount of work in here in the last day and a half. So we ordered some shelves. We have these really nice shelves. They're just like the ones we have in the extended pantry or the long-term pantry. They're just a little bit bigger. They're taller. So they're like uh, 90 inches by 90 inches by two feet deep. They're kind of expensive. We love the ones from Home Depot. The ones from Lowe's are just not that great. So we ordered three of those. We're gonna line this wall with those shelves so that we can organize like kitchen things and buckets and um, over like things we're keeping for the kids like snow pants and stuff. Um, I don't know, just, you know, like the manual uh, grain grinder and the extra canners and you know, all that kind of stuff can kind of just live out here. Right now I have it above, some of that stuff is above the extended pantry and it's like really hard to get through. I have to get the ladder out and it's like just keeps crawling back and I can't find things. You pack up for Is work, anything cuter than a toddler in jammies and muck boots carrying her horse around? So Zad and I are gonna keep chipping away at this. We're gonna kind of try to clear this wall tomorrow morning, go get the shelves, get those shelves up. We love those shelves because they're so easy to put up. We have really had a run with shelves. We've had these kinds of shelves, which if you're familiar, they're fine, but putting them together is awful. They have to be right at the right spot. They're never level. They're so annoying. 
the what grounds for divorce is right it's like going canoeing um so anyway we're gonna work on that there's some just like old rickety shelving that was already in here that we're gonna pull out maybe we'll repurpose it somewhere else um and that's what we're gonna work on this afternoon so dinner is in the instant pot so whenever we decide we're hungry we just need to reheat those mashed potatoes and shred that meat and put it on top maybe pull out some applesauce or something and dinner will be ready all right, so I'm finishing on my whip towel bomb. The trickiest part is whipping it at the exact right temperature. So we have that going on. Um, we canned some French onion soup this uh, summer. So Zad it, took a quart of that and he's turning that into gravy. Do you wanna tell him? We've talked about this before, but if you don't know how to make like a simple gravy out of basically broth. So you just wanna take a fat of some sort, whether it's lard, tallow, Butter. Butter. Um, put that in the pan, melt it, put some flour in. You want a kind of a thick paste, almost um, kind of clumpy, like uh, what do you call it, pie dough or something like that in the beginning stages. And once you have that, then add in your liquid. In this case, it was onions and broth. Broth, basically, like, yeah, onion broth. Onion broth. And then, um, just keep simmering it until it's the thickness that you want. I guess if you want to kick it up quicker and get it to the thickness you want faster, you could use cornstarch or air power powder. You'd want to put that in a little dish with some water and stir it up and then dump that slurry in. Or just be patient and simmer it down to the thickness you want. So we have that. Um, what was left from, so this is all the meat that I pulled off. This is our juices and the fat and the bone and whatever. I'll put that in a container. I'll deal with that another day. I got our mashed potatoes warmed up. So we're just going to do like a Thanksgiving bowl or maybe like a New Year's bowl. Here we go again with our little Amish colloquialisms. So in Lancaster County, where we used to live, you have pork and sauerkraut on New Year's Day. And that's essentially what we're having tonight. So I have some sriracha kraut that was something we got at Blessings of Hope. Um, it's super good. So we're gonna finish that up. So we'll just make like a little bowl with our mashed potatoes, our meat, our gravy, put a little kraut on top. It's gonna be delicious. So we have to for a plate, but nonetheless, got our mashed potatoes. I think that'll use up all of our mashed potatoes finally from the vat that we made. Our gravy made from the French onion soup that we can, a Boston butt and some of this sriracha kraut. Of course we have our own kraut, but I had this jar open and I thought we should probably finish it up because isn't that the point of the pantry challenge? All right, so seriously, those pumpkin muffins with the oat crumble on top, oh, mm. yeah. we're gonna have to make some more of those. Okay, so that's what we had for dessert, or that's what I had for dessert. That's probably what Bud's gonna have and maybe what Zad's gonna have and the littles are asleep. The salad bomb, whipped salad bomb came out amazing. I just have to wipe up the jars, put the lids, put the stickers on and they're done. So this is a little bit labor intensive, but it's super satisfying. Like these peaks just, mm, they're amazing. So I have no idea what our plan is for tomorrow. So I will bring you along whatever kind of excitement we get into. We're definitely cleaning the garage because Zad brought the shelves home. Um, we did dig out this frozen yogurt maker that we bought for like 20 bucks. We were gonna do that tonight, but we totally didn't get to it. So maybe we'll dig into that tomorrow. We have some leftover pork I'm sure that we can use up. We can do something with the drippings from the pork. So lots of options. The mashed potatoes are gone. Woohoo! That's very exciting. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.